Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. In today's exercise, we are going to learn some basic features and we will learn some features like extruded boss base, swept boss base, revolver boss base, swept cut, revolve cut. So let's see how to do this in SOLIDWORKS. Exercise number 121 in SOLIDWORKS and here we are going to create this pipe with flange. This is and we will learn some basic SOLIDWORKS features. So first we will start with this base flange. It's 140 into 88 millimeter and thickness you will see here 16 millimeter. The corner radius 15, four number of and there is counter bore hole. The dimension is 15 by 9 millimeter hole. The counter bore diameter 15, thickness 5 and the main hole is 9 millimeter throughout. Then we will see there is one cutout at bottom 70 millimeter long. 3 millimeter thick and at 45 degree corner. Okay, let's make this few features. So here we will select top plane, a sketch, center rectangle. Okay, 88 tap 140 millimeter. Feature extrude and here keep end condition blind 16 millimeter thickness. Say yes. Let me hide real view. I will choose one corner and you will see one option here chamfer and fillet. So now constant size fillet. Even though if you choose any one edge it gives you option like see hole wizard. I will choose here legacy hole. Here choose counter board. Now, the main diameter is 9 millimeter and the depth here keep through all. So, no need to define the length, okay. Then the counter bore diameter, it's 15 and how much the depth? 5. Position, I will choose this face. Keep your cursor near and you will find center point of edge. Okay, and here the last one. And escape key to out of this. Now look, see the counter bore hole is created. This face, now here we need to make cut out. Line. and close. Now let's hold shift key 1, 2, 3 and make relation symmetric. That's it. Angle 45 degree 3 millimeter and the length 70 millimeter. See this is fully defined this sketch. Go to feature and choose extruded cut. Now here keep end condition through all. So that it's going to cut up to end here or you even though choose up to next. Say yes. Now let's make this pipe. This pipe length 120. Width you will see close look 72 and the pipe diameter 45 millimeter. Then there is one more, this solid pipe, this diameter you will see 56, but this thickness 40 and distance 50 millimeter from bottom. So let's make this two and the angle here 38 degree. So right plane, I'll choose line. One twenty seventy two angle from any one this thirty eight corner fillet or corner radius 
स्केच फिलेट थर्टी टू मिलीमीटर से यस कैंसल ना नाउ एग्जिट गो टू स्विफ्ट बॉस वेस हियर वन ऑप्शन सर्कुलर प्रोफाइल सी द पाथ इज सेलेक्टेड डायमीटर एंड दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव मिलीमीटर Say yes. Now, if we can simply drag this upside. Now, see, it's trimmed from here. We need to choose the same surface. Fifty-six extrude, and this is forty millimeter reverse. But we will use offset tool. 50 millimeter reverse. See, 50 millimeter offset from here to here, and the length is 40 millimeter. That's it. Now, if we see, there is one 12 diameter hole on the same path, so we will create this also. Then, now we will make this flange also. This flange lies at mid of this one. Okay. And this is eighty-two, fifteen radius, fifty-six, and this thickness, if you see here, twelve millimeter. Then at the same time, twenty-four diameter circle lies on this, and sixteen millimeter is the thickness. So first, let's make one cutout here. We will use the same sketch. Swift cut, circular profile, twelve millimeter. Look, say yes. If you see section view, now look. Plane, we want to create mid plane. So select these two surfaces. and we are going to create this plane choose the plane a sketch and circle fifty six millimeter it's fifteen means diameter thirty Eighty-two millimeter. Let's connect this. Now let's. I'll connect. Make sure it's tangent. Okay, this is already tangent. Mirror entity. Let me choose this one. Mirror about this line. See yes. Extrude. Now. This things we need to extrude. Keep end condition twenty millimeter end condition mid plane. On top face sketch. If you keep cursor, you will find center, and this is twenty four millimeter, and extrude, and this length is sixteen millimeter. Okay, now let's. Hide. Now you will see there is one hollow shape. This is four millimeter. So we will use cutout tool, and this is also twelve millimeter cut, and the hole is going to meet fourteen millimeter. This is four millimeter wall all around. So right plane sketch. First, let me. Draw one center line. Now here I'll select line. Let's define the dimension.
फोर मिलीमीटर फोर मिलीमीटर ओके लेट्स कनेक्ट दिस Now here we will choose revolve cut. Now if you see line axis selected here, say yes. If you see section view, you will see the preview. Okay. Now in the same way we will apply here. So we will choose plain what we created, a sketch. Now that is also four millimeter away. So. create this convert entities offset keep 4 mm and let's say 1 okay we will use only 1 okay okay that's going perfectly fine if i am going to choose this one okay that's no problem again offset reverse okay now we have here one closed geometry let's keep as it is trim power trim mirror entity now i'll trim this outer edge so this is what we get a closed geometry going to this is we are going to cut 4 mm away from all outer wall extruded cut 12 mm thickness and condition mid plane okay top face the sketch circle and there is one 14 diameter circle extruded cut and here keep end condition to next because there is one inside wall say yes if i am going to choose section view okay now look this is what we get a result now here a very important things we are going to cut one cylinder is straight 56.4 but there is one tapered cylinder radius 32 angle here 36 degree and that is 30 degree a uh, 30 mm is the diameter of this but this is going to cut along with this then 35 mm it is up to 56.4 up to here and uh, we are going to add one flange hexagon 67 mm and that is 5 mm away from this and thickness 15 mm so i'll add first flange exit now let me choose this one horizontal let's define 67 mm and let me choose this outer ring convert entities extrude 15 mm and condition reverse offset 5 mm reverse now look how is going inside so that's it now right plane a sketch now let me choose this previous sketch show 
this is our main sketch i'll click one thing select this one and this one convert entities okay select these two lines make relation tangent again create one center line let's make this line with this 36 mm if you are going to check this angle vice versa okay trim entity power trim trim this one trim this one we need up to here see this is fully defined sketch hide now this is the balance result exit swift cut now here circular profile 30 mm here make sure align with and edges see this is going to be happen this face and the last one i believe is 30 something 37 diameter okay extruded cut 56.4 extruded cut 56.4 okay now let's apply section view say yes now look this is what we are expecting a result fillet constant size fillet 3 mm and this two edges applies now let's real view let's apply some color to it so this is the simple exercise for the beginners those who want to learn basics of solid works i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching